Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've just noticed my shirt kind of matches this picture. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> okay, I have got a super exciting video for you today or whatever day you're watching it or night or more, I don't know. Anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that recently I got to test drive the brand new Hyundai Santa Fe. So um, basically John Hughes, which is a major car dealership here in Perth, probably the best car dealership here in Perth and one of the most well known, contacted me and asked if I would like to test drive this for a couple of days because basically this car is, uh, or it's it's more of like an SUV, the uh, uh, SUV um, is targeted towards families. So they wanted me to test drive it and um, see, see what I thought. So I was really, really lucky to be able to test drive it over the weekend. And I mean, it, it was such a great experience to be able to drive a brand new car. So I went down to John Hughes and the lovely salespeople there took me through the entire car and showed me all the things that I would need to know. Um, this car, I tell you, has so many features. I'm going to go through them in the little video package you'll see. But the great thing about it is it's not rocket science. So in the video you know, um, or in the vlog that you'll see, I refer to the car um, as a spaceship. And it really was like a spaceship because honestly it was so high tech. So I remember when I got a car with electric windows and I was crazy excited. This car is next level, but super easy to drive. So when I drove out of the dealership, I didn't feel like I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, it has all the bells and whistles, but it's still also so super, super easy to use. So that's what I wanted to really reiterate because I don't know if I mentioned that in the package, but that's what I remember now is how simple it was to learn all the bits and bobs that I needed to learn. Um, as a um, car, it's or as an SUV, it's a seven seater, but it does not feel like you're driving a truck. So uh, for me, I get a little bit anxious when I drive, and if I'm driving something huge, um, I get scared that I'm going to hit something. And I, especially driving a car that's borrowed. Oh goodness, I spent the whole two days worried that someone was going to crash into me or I, it, it was scary <laughs> but it doesn't feel like you're driving something massive so the room in the car is is huge but it does not feel like you're driving something massive anyway watch my vlog because you'll see everything we did and everything we um, everywhere we took the car and all the features that I loved it was super rainy and super terrible weather that weekend so um, just bear with me because Obviously, we can't film inside if we're showing a car, uh, so there is a bit of wind and, and, and all sorts. And um, I hope you really enjoy the vlog of me driving the brand new Hyundai Santa Fe. I was able to um, set my seat settings so that when I get in the car, it's going to know exactly the settings I like. So if Darren drive, if if I owned this car and Darren was to drive it, he would set his as driver number two. So when he got in, he just pressed the number two, and um, that would be his setting. And then I just press the number one, and that would be my setting. So you don't have to worry about you know, when you get in your car and someone else has driven it, and it's feels horrible. I can never get like, get the seat back. And I've got the seat warmer on right now, so my butt is being warmed. And I had the steering wheel warmer on, but it was too hot. I had to turn it off. So, I definitely want my car to know when I'm on the Nintendo Right? Really annoying. The steering wheel down. And the seat's all come back like I'm a gangster. It's so annoying. So right at the moment now, I've got this little projection on my windscreen that's telling me my speed. 
and it's telling me that it's 80 kilometers an hour here. And the last few times I've been caught for speeding, it's been because I didn't, I've been in a place I didn't know and I thought the speed was different to what it was. Like I thought it was 60 k's an hour, but it was only 50. So I've been going 60 k's an hour, but it was only 50. And so now this tells you in every area what the speed is. Oh, and my windscreen wipers just came on because um, they're automatic. <laughs> I want this car so bad. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna sell it. To get it? Yes, so that's all set up. Yeah. So I rang Darren, um, and all I had to do was like just press the little phone button, and then his number was already in there. And um, so that was already all set up, which is cool. Um, and then it can charge your phone as well down here. Like you just put your phone on, which Lauren's using to film, so I can't demonstrate. But um, you can just put your phone on here, and it um, charges it. So the next thing is. I'm gonna have to try and park. Yeah, the one I'm not. We're both parking so easy in the camera. I'm Maybe we'll see what the car park's like, and if it's not busy, um, maybe I'll try and reverse park. I was a little bit concerned because this car's obviously a lot bigger than ours, but it really doesn't feel bigger. I get a little bit scared over driving big cars, but it doesn't feel, it's like super easy to drive. And I was on the freeway and it was raining. Okay. Guys, I never reverse park. I don't think I even know how. It's so easy. Here's a corner. Should I try here? Double. What do I do? What? Yeah. And then I put it in reverse. Yeah. Use your cameras. Use one. your cameras. Aim for the faraway one. Yeah. So it's showing you like what you're going to do. No, you're right. You'll be able to like fix it. Okay. And the blues, I think this was your actual car. Oh, oh really? not the yellow. You need the to get your blue your into your yellow. Oh. Oh, no, no, you're right. Keep the yellow? Keep going. Watch that camera. <laughs> you're fine. Oh. oh my god, you have done this. Now straighten up. You guys, I just reverse parked and I have never reverse parked in my life. Oh my god, now I'm worried about the car behind me. It'll you've beep. Got, you've got plenty of room. Is that telling me what room? I just use the camera. Look Stop at the second the camera. There you go. Oh. See the second one? Okay, guys. Okay, I'm that's just... really too cool. I just want to know how it's getting the image on the, on the right. I just reverse parked and I never reverse park ever. And all I used was the cameras and a bit of moral support. <laughs> I think I needed that moral support. But... Oh, look, that's right, there's no key. I went to grab the key, there's no key. You know, look. Okay. So I thought I would show you some of my favourite features of the Santa Fe that are to do with the car itself. So not so much when you're driving the car, but just the actual car. So the first thing is it's got the Isofix points for your car seat. So these are just these little things that pop out and it makes it really easy to clip your car seat in. This one took about 30 seconds to pop in. So you don't have to worry about seat belts going around or anything like that. That's really easy. And the other thing is, is it's um, standard on the footpath side. So that's the safest place to have your car seat. The other thing that I love, and my friends that I had in the car with me yesterday loved it as well, is this sunshade. So it literally just slides out of the bottom of the window here and clips on. So you don't have to worry about the sticky sunshades. You don't have to worry about the ones that go over. You don't have to worry about them falling off or anything like that literally just pulls up, clips on, and then you can just pop it back in. So that's something really, really simple, but I think if you're a parent and you've had a small child that's had the glare of the sun on them and you've had to worry about those hideous sunshades that go over the mirrors, you will find that really amazing. The other thing is if you've got older kids that like to use their devices in the back seat, there are USB points right here. So if they've got their iPad or their iPhone or their, 
I don't know, do people still use DVD players? Whatever. They can plug them in here and then they don't have to worry about them losing charge. The back seat have got their own air vents. And if we look over here, as my cameraman hits the window, the back seats have their own seat warmers, which is pretty snazzy. And also um, you can lock the electric windows from the front seat as well. So if you've got kids in the back that like to play with the electric windows, you can stop them from doing that. Okay, so you guys have already seen that it's just a one touch boot open, so you don't have to struggle. You can act, there's actually a button in the front as well that you can open the boot from and close the boot from. So if you've got kids that are grabbing bags and things out of the back of the car, you don't have to get out of the car. Now, I wanna show you how easy it is to bring the extra seats up. So um, the car will actually come with a cover here that goes over here. Um, we took that out for this purpose. Um, and then you've got your little shade here so that if you do have sort of valuables in the back here, you can cover them up um, or bags and things. If you're going to the shops, you can cover that up. But these are the extra seats. So they literally just pull up oh, like that. So I did that in five seconds. They've got headrests. They've got everything and then so these front seats will can clip forward so that the kids can get or kids or whoever can get out of the back door and then when you're ready to put them down you can just press that little button and then you pull it you kind of have to pull that hard so it unclips and pop it in also in here we have obviously there's lots of space but you've got rear AC in here. So even everybody sitting back here has got air conditioning and a little, um, what do you want to call it? Charger. <laughs> it's Sunday, I, <laughs> my brain. Um, but I think it's really cool that they've got the air vents because so often cars will have all these extra seats, but they won't have the air vents in the back. So that's really cool as well. And look, I can fit. <laughs> I can fit in the boot comfortably. So, you know, don't shut the, <laughs> he's gonna shut the boot on my head. Don't, please don't. All right, so close the boot, literally just a button. Super easy. So we're just packing to go out for the day. We're gonna go to the zoo, which it's a bit cold and wet, but that's okay. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how much room there is in the boot here. So we've got the pram in. And as you can see, there's a heap more room. So I'm just going to put my energy bag here, my owls, until it's meeting. Um, and we've still got a heap more room. So you, you could probably fit a double pram in here, I reckon. I'm not going to have the steering wheel warmer on today. I had it on yesterday. I found it a little warm. I think if you'd been stood outside for a while and you've got that really cold, like stiff fingers, it would be really great to have when you first get in the car. But, um, I don't need that on today uh, because my hands aren't that cold um, and I did find it a little bit warm yesterday but it's still a great feature to have. But I got my butt warmer on too. Okay so another cool feature of this is you can actually choose or the passenger can choose whether they want to have the under seat air ventilation on or the seat warmer and then the driver can choose something different. You can hear Matilda in the background, she wants to get going. Um, so <coughs> my husband's really weird. And he likes having the air conditioner on um, when it's winter. So he's got his air ventilation on and I've got my butt warmer on. Um, the other thing is you can actually choose um, the vents either side as well. So if your passenger wants it to be a bit cooler and you want it to be a bit warmer, you can do that too. And that's through here. So this says sink, but you can actually um, sort of control that. Mommy. You just press this button that says sync and you just press it so it's not lit up and then you can use this dial to turn it up and your passenger can use it dial to turn it to whatever that temperature they would like to have. So if you've got a passenger like my husband who likes their, it to be cooler and a driver who wants it to be warmer, um, you can have different temperatures. Put it on the same. Oh my god, are you serious? Hi, thank you for waiting. Hi, can I just, um, oh, I'm picking up 
Mobile Order 77. Yeah, no problem. For Darren? Yes, that's right. No Thank you. Do you have the two hash browns? Yes. Yep, there we go. And the coffees. Oh, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Oh, we don't probably need the tray. Yeah. If you want to grab it. Thank you so much. Thank you. When you plug your phone in, you can connect it to, uh, well, I have a Google phone, so I can connect it to Android Auto, but um, iPhones can connect to Apple Apple Play, Apple CarPlay, I think it's called, um, which means that if you get a text message or any kind of message while you're driving, you can um, get the car to read it to you. So I've gotten a message, so I'm going to say, okay, Google, read my messages. You have one message. Darren Carter says I'll grab them on the way home. Do you want to reply? Yes. What's the message? Okay, thanks. Here's your text to Darren Carter. Okay, thanks. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. So, I don't text when I'm driving because I don't use my phone when I'm driving. Uh, but occasionally, I guess if a, a text comes through that needs to be, um, you need to read straight away. So like, um, my husband just said we need milk. Um, then it's a really handy feature so you know whether you need to stop off at the shops or you need to, to go anywhere on your way home so you're not having to pull over uh, to use your phone. So I'm just about to take the Santa Fe back and I'm very, very sad about it. But I'm excited that we'll get to have one last drive together. <sighs> Hopefully it's not goodbye forever because I really loved my time <laughs> and I really want it <laughs> uh, but yeah so really glad that I'm gonna get this one last drive on the freeway to enjoy everything that I'm loving about it um, I'm gonna do a little sum up but I just wanted to do like a little sign off from inside the car oh! um, but I'm gonna enjoy this last drive oh maybe I'll have to take the long way probably it. Okay guys I hope you really enjoyed that. I enjoyed filming it and I enjoyed having the car for the weekend so I want to say a big thank you to John Hughes Hyundai in Perth, uh, Victoria Park um, for allowing me to test drive the car and, and give my thoughts on it. Uh, for me, I think it is really a perfect family car. It's one that uh, would be on my list for when we upgrade from the current car we do have, um, mainly for sort of all the features I kind of talked about in the video, but just reiterating the space. It's, it's a massive car. It doesn't feel like you're driving a truck. All the bells and whistles, all the, the tech, the safety features. I mean, the list goes on. The, the windshield, um, the, wind sh uh, the window shade. I mean, they've thought of everything in this car. Um, I have now gone back to obviously driving my normal vehicle. Um, you know, it's okay, but there's no seat warmers. There's no steering wheel warmer. It's there's no window shade. It's there's no inbuilt Android Auto CarPlay. There's no inbuilt navigation. So I really miss it. I only drove it for two days and I really, really miss it. So it's definitely going on my list. Please let me know below if you're looking for a new family car, is this one that's going to be on your list? And is this, did this video help you to, to decide or, or is this going to make you want to go and, and see this car and see what it's like? If you are in Perth, um, I highly would recommend heading out to John Hughes to have a look at it. They have the most amazing salespeople and they're super friendly. They will show you everything to do with the car and they will teach you how to use it as well. I could not recommend them highly enough. 
And even before this video, I have we bought most of our cars from there, so we are huge, huge, huge fans. <laughs> so head down to John Hughes, and if you do, make sure you tell them that I that you can, that you went because of my video. Because you know, I want them to know that like I'm repping John Hughes, and I'm, I'm letting people know about this amazing car. <laughs> um. Anyway, let me also know down below if you enjoyed the vlog. I've got a few more vloggy type videos coming up. Um, it, it's something that I'm really, really working on. I'm working on my confidence and working on getting the camera out when I'm out and about because I want to show you guys all the things that you want to see. So let me down below if you're enjoying the vlog and let me know if there's any videos that you want to see. I know a couple of people on Instagram were saying they wanted a hair video. Um, I don't know if I'm the right person to do one, but I, I can do a hair video if you guys want. Let me know. I, I don't know unless you let me know. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram. My handle is down here because I post pretty much every day. And if you've got any questions about the um, Hyundai Santa Fe, let me know below as well. So basically just put everything in the comments down below. I will see them and I will answer them. Until my next video, my lovely, lovely friends, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you do subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.